So let's talk about the geometric meaning of the dif differentiation of the vector function. So let's say we're given a curve in 3D using the vector function, R of t. It means that by choosing the different values for the t, we can find the points on this curve, along this curve, right? So now let's say we're given some point at the point t, right? So actually this is given with a vector, right? Or we can write this with a vector. Right? This is our, this is the vector R of T, at some point T, okay? Now, in order to define the differentiation, what we need to do is, we need to define another point closer to this point, right? So this vector is going to be, what kind of vector is it? it is? This vector is going to be, R of T plus H, right? You understand this? Okay, so we say that the derivative of the R with respect to the T is, at some point T, is the limit of R of T plus H minus R of T divided to the H, where H goes to the zero, right? Now, if you're given the two vectors, if you subtract them, what kind of vector you will get? If you subtract the two vectors. Subtraction of these two vectors is this vector between them, right? This vector is when you, okay, so if the direction goes from negative to the positive, this vector is R of T plus H minus R of T, right? Because the direction of this vector, blue vector, goes from the negative vector to the positive vector, right? So the, blue, the black one is R of T, the green one is R of T plus H, and their subtraction is R of T plus H minus R of T is the blue one. It is going from the negative black to the positive green, right? This is the vector. Okay, so now if you divide this, if you're taking the points closer and closer to each other, and at the same time we divide them to the H, okay, we are going to get the derivative of the we're going to get the derivative of the function, of the curve at this point, and this will look like similar to this, okay? So this is going to be our prime of t. And we are going to call this vector as a tangent vector, okay? So the tangent vector is defined as our prime of t, okay? The other thing is, so depending on, so it also shows us how much the curve is changing at a given point, right? So depending on where we are located, at which point of the curve we are located, this vector, r prime of t, might have the different lengths, right? If the changes a lot, changes a lot, so this may be, this vector might be a long vector. If there are small changes, this vector might be a small vector, okay? So in order to make our life easier to work with the small vectors always, what we're going to do is we are going to normalize them, okay? So no, I'm not interested on any tangent vector. I'm interested on unit tangent vectors, okay? So no matter where I'm finding the tangent vectors, I would like to make them, scale them up to the unit vector, okay? So do you remember if you're given a vector, we can scale this up to the unit vector by dividing this vector to the length of itself. Right? If the vector is big, you're going to divide this to the length. It's going to be smaller, right? If the vector is small, you're going to divide this to the its length. It's also becoming unit vector, right? So when we talk about the unit vectors, we talk about this. So we are going to define the unit tangent vector as r prime of t divided to the norm of the r prime of t. And this is denoted as t of t, okay? This is the unit tangent vector. So let's do an example. So let's say where our function is given in the form s, one plus t cubed, if this is the first component, t multiplied to the inner power of t, this is the second component, sine of t, it's the third component, okay? So 
So what we need to do is we need to find the unit tangent vector. at t is equal to the zero. Find the unit tangent vector at t is equal to the zero. In order to do this, so we just need to put everything to the formula, right? R prime of t is going to be equal to the three t square e in the power of minus t minus t in the power of minus t cosine of t, right? So we need to define R prime of zero, right? Because we need to find the unit tangent vector at the point zero. This is going to be equal to zero. This is one minus zero. This is one, right? Do you understand this? Because this is zero and one, okay? So the unit tangent vector at the point zero is equal to the r prime of zero divided to the norm of this vector, right? Because its length should be equal to the one, right? So what is the length of the r prime of zero? This is going to be square root of one a zero plus one plus one, this is the square root of two, right? So the unit tangent vector is going to be zero, one, and one divided to the square root of two, or zero, one divided to the square root of two, one divided to the square root of two. Okay, so now we can define the tangent vector, right? Now let's talk about how to make the tangent line. Another example. So let's say we are given the parametric vector equation of the helix in this way. It's equal to 2 cosine of t, sine of t, and t. Or let's, let's make it okay, like this. This is, this is going to be a different color, okay? But this is going to be the same, more or less the same curve. Okay, spiral like. Good? Okay, now what I need to do is we need to find the tangent line to this curve at the point 0, 1, and pi over 2. Find the equation of the tangent line, find the equation of the tangent line to this point. So we're given a helix, right? Okay, so what does it mean? So if you would substitute the t to be equal to pi over t, for example, right? If you substitute t is equal to pi over t, r of pi over t becomes zero, right? Because cosine of pi over t is zero. Sine of pi over t is one. And t is pi over t is pi over t, okay? So actually, we need to find the equation of the tangent line at this point, okay? So do you remember, so do you understand what does it mean, the tangent line? One more time. So we are given a helix. So we need to choose one of the points, right? If you choose, so if this point is T0, for example, so if you find the derivative of the curve, and evaluate this at the t0, this is going to give you a tangent vector, right? Now what you need to do is, you don't need to, I don't need the tangent vector. We need the tangent line, right? So how to find this? Huh? By something, okay. Actually, do you remember how we built the lines before it was a vector? So if I'm given one point, t0, and if I'm given a vector which is parallel or on the line, I can quickly build a line, right? Do you remember this? Yes? Okay. Actually, I'm given the t0, and I can find this vector, and just using one point and this vector, I can build the tangent line, right? So if you're given one more time, so if 
you are given a vector which is parallel to the line, and you're given one point on this line with the co coordinates x0, y0, and z0, then the equation of the line is equal to r0, which is, or, which is p0, right, plus ut. Do you remember this? Right? Yes? Okay. So the same thing which you need to do now. So now you need to, so you're given p0, this is equal to the pi over 2, right? Now you need to find this vector which is parallel to our line, okay? In order to do this, we just need to find the tangent vector, right? I don't need now the unit tangent vector because this vector might be any length, right? Okay, so let's find the tangent vector. In order to do this, we need to find the derivative of the r, right? What is the derivative of this r? It's going to be derivative of the t cosine of t. It's going to be minus t sine of t. Derivative of the sine is cosine of t. And derivative of the t is 1, right? So now we need to evaluate this at the pi over 2, right? What, what kind of vector is this? It's going to be minus 2, 0, and 1, right? Actually, our vector, this vector, which is parallel to our line, has the components minus 2, 0, and 1. Now, I know one point, right? This point has the coordinates 0, 1, and pi over 2. This is our p0, okay? Analogously to this equation, or r0. p0. And this is our vector u, the vector which is parallel to our line, okay? So that is why the equation of the line is going to be r0, 0, 1, pi over 2, plus u multiplied to the t, right? So it's going to be minus t, 0, and 1 multiplied to the t. This is going to be minus 2t, t, 1, pi over 2, plus the t. This is the equation of the tangent line to this helix at the point pi over 2. 